my boyfriend and I found this little house that we plan on fixing up and turning into a home for ourselves. However, going into this house, we were told that the previous owner has passed away in the home. Now, originally, this did not bother me or my boyfriend. However, the night that I, the first night that I spent there with him, I didn't experience anything at the home, but it almost seems like something followed me here. One night I was sitting in the kitchen and I was just minding my own business. But then out of nowhere, I heard a loud whistle. It was like a cat call whistle almost. Um, but my son was watching TV. So at first I thought it was the TV, but then I heard it again and it sounded like it was coming from behind me, which is down the hallway. So I asked my boyfriend if it was him because he was down the hall and he claims that it was not him. So at first I didn't think anything of it until I heard it a third time where the TV was off and this house was completely silent. I heard it even louder than the first two times. A couple days later, I was playing the VR, which means that I have this headset on. While I was playing this game, I felt something grab, like completely grab my butt. So I immediately took my headset off. At first I thought it was my boyfriend playing a prank on me. So I took my headset off, I look around me, and there was no one. My son was sleeping on the couch, my daughter was sleeping in her bed and my boyfriend was with my daughter in the same room. So yeah, that's when this started to bother me. The morning after the VR incident, I was sleeping in my bed. Um, it was early in the morning, probably four o'clock in the morning. Um, I was woken out of a dead sleep to somebody screaming my name. At first, I believed it to be my mother, but when I looked at my doorway, there was nobody standing there. I decided to go down the hall to see where everybody was and everyone was still sleeping. This is what led me to ask my father and my uncle Chris to investigate to make sure that there's nothing unwelcoming in our soon-to-be new home. Ashes to ashes, down. Hey guys, how you been? I know it's been a long time. We've been wanting to get back to this uh, forever now, and now we're back. And first, before we get into it, we want to say a huge thank you to all you guys that have been loyal and stick around waiting for us and messaging us. Well, we're back at it, guys, and uh, tonight's no different. Let's get into this. Okay, guys, so as you heard, uh, just to recap, there was a, a guy who used to live here. He died um, fairly recently. Uh, and we're going to see if he may be stuck here or... If there's something else that may be here, um, you heard what, uh, what my daughter Brienne said. She believes happened since she's been here. So we'll take a quick walk through, show you the place, um, and then we'll get started. By the way, guys, this is uh, this place is something that um, they're fixing up to eventually move into. Um, little cozy place, nice quiet place, just uh, 
they haven't moved in. They'll probably be a couple more months, maybe, before they move in. But uh, they said that we could come out and see if there's anything actually here before they move in with uh, the kids, our grandkids. So that's mainly why we're here. So let's see. You want to go ahead? I'll come behind you. If you want to say anything, you right ahead. I'll tell you one thing, it's nice and warm with that wood heat in here. <laughs> us guys we had the the uh, keys handed over to us and there is a basement down there we will be going down there tonight as well So, if there is somebody here, I'm Dave, and that's my brother Chris. And what we do is try to communicate with spirits that may want to communicate back. That's all we're here to do tonight. So, if you would like to, at any time, give us a sign or talk to us, we'll have another device or two that'll help you communicate hopefully or you can talk directly into the device we're holding So if the previous homeowner is here, we're not sure if you realize yet that uh, someone has taken over your home, but they are going to fix it up, make it better than ever. What are your thoughts on that? Is that okay with you? One of the ways we like to communicate is to tap or bang on something. If we can't hear you audibly, could you tap or bang on something? Let us know that you can hear us. Side, I heard scuffing. Like, I'm going to do it to show you what it sounded like something like this. Almost like someone dragging their feet right here. Was that you dragging your feet? Or walking? Sorry, was that you walking towards us? Or away from us? You don't have to be afraid of us. We're not here to cause you any harm at all but do you hear that like a whoo, or a whoo. oh i hope that if that picked up i'm gonna i'll point it out Is 
Is this the previous homeowner we're talking to or communicating with, or is it somebody else? If it's somebody else, can you make a noise? Raspy breathing, but it's right light in here. Are you in here? Could you move something for us? Does it look smoky in here? Or yeah. foggy? If you're in here, can you make a noise for us? And if you're not the only thing here, you can let us know. If there's anything bad here, we can try to get rid of it. Anybody here that wants to talk? Is there anybody here that's left behind? Give a tap or give a knock. Come up and tap me on the shoulder. I give you permission. You give me a tap on the shoulder. Pull on the shirt. Weird feeling of like um, not really dizziness. It's almost like when you're wearing the VR. Oh yeah, like a not a motion point. sickness either, but it's like a, yeah. Is there anything you can move? Are you able to move anything for us? So we can see it and hear it. So guys, once uh, we hit the lights and go night vision, we will use the uh, ghost tube app. So far it's still the one that we kind of narrowed it down to using the most, if not all the time just not sure about the other one so so we're going to come downstairs here soon if you're down there feel free to communicate with us if you don't want us down there feel free to let us know
little harder to hopefully that furnace isn't too loud on the camera but. are you down here the flashlight flickering and that's uh It goes out or something wrong because that's a fully charged battery. The logs here flickering. I just took them off the charge before we left. Yeah, see that? It just showed up in the camera. Are you uh, messing with my flashlight? Can you shut it off? One hand on the camera. Curse. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not pushing the button. Yeah. Can you turn my flashlight right off? Why am I hearing voices like a like a high squeaky voice? Yeah. You heard that too? Well, that's what it sounded like an ambulance up and downstairs. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> an ambulance? Yeah. Residual, maybe. Is that you talking just now? Can you come push the button? I'm gonna put my hand here. Can you come push the button on the flashlight? Make it go all wonky. The hell is that? to this basement and then when we come back down <coughs> excuse me let me switch lights here what right there oh I haven't seen it okay Okay guys, we're going to um, hit the shadows now, see if we can get anything without this big light shining in whoever's face, so let's do that. I can't see anything. Hello. Hello. Can you see the screen at least? Yeah, okay. The screen. <laughs> if you, yeah. Okay. So if there's anybody here, we get rid of the lights. Maybe you're more comfortable in the dark. Is there anything here that would like to communicate now? I don't know where. Is that the room? Oh, that's the furnace. That's the room. There's the room. Was that a scratch or was it you? No, that was me by mistake. Okay. I can hear that. That's like a low pitched, almost like a mumble. I hear noises from out there, too. Yeah. Was that you just talking? Can you tell me what your name is?
So what I'm holding here, because chances are you might have never seen this before. Not. No, not. Well, it is a device that will allow us, help us communicate with you. If you can uh, talk into this device or manipulate it, and uh, it'll turn it turn it to words that again will help us communicate. So, is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us before we go? If I am about to walk. Open it. Open what? Open it. Yeah. Just be careful, don't get too far to the edge there because that vent's not covered. Just stay close to the bed. What's not covered? The vent. I have the chair over top okay. of it, but right. just stay closer to the bed. Yeah. What would you like us to open? If you don't mind me asking, how did you pass away? <laughs> I know I can barely see, but I don't like looking at that back window. Is there anything out there? Have you seen anything or just a reflection? No, it's just a reflection. Okay. Almost feels like there's something looking back. No, nope, just a reflection. Is there any message you'd like to get across that you didn't have a chance to when you were alive? It's possible. What would that message be? I don't want to touch that firm. I can't see what that was. It's probably me. I know this is the end of my game. Is there something? Oh, okay. That was me. Murdered. 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 Who was murdered? Who was murdered? Can you do anything to let me know if this was your spot or not? <clears throat> I got a question. Do you need do you mean anybody harm?
I can't leave. I can't leave. Why what? can't you leave? What's stopping you? What or who is stopping you from leaving? If you need help leaving, we can come back. What year is it? 2024. What year did you die? Do you have a flashlight? Yeah. Yeah. I would um, yeah, turn that on. Yeah. I'll go down first. And once I'm down there. Yep. Just one sec. Switch. Ooh, it got chilly down here. I it's real quick. I can feel it already. It was blistering down there. Yeah. Real fast. Did you come down here with us? Asylum. Is this where you found your safe space? Is this your quiet area that you could always come to? That's a full 360. So what is that message you like to get across? Compared to when we were just down here. Yeah. Walk over here. Can you tell me if I'm walking in there? Yeah, there's an ash can. Keep going straight. Yep, pull straight. Not, not, not in my head, is there a little Oh no. No, those pipes are pretty high. Bunch of wood there. I feel like I just backed up into somebody's like there's an axe. space. Oh, there's an axe yeah. into the wood. Okay. Hope it stays there. That's probably where whoever was chopping. Did you spend a lot of time down here? you live here for? Keep recording. Okay. Keep recording. We will. Will you give us a reason to record?
stand my ground. Scratch. Oh, son. Scratch. My bad again. Are you going to scratch me or Chris? I literally feel like I got something breathing mm -hmm. down my neck. I don't feel the breath. It just feels like I'm standing, like I got somebody pressed up against the wall. Dozens. Dozens of what? Scratches? I hope not. My shirt's getting played with. Is it? Yeah. Is that you playing with Chris's shirt? In the back. How close am I to that? Five. Close. It's like just off to your off at your left. You could back up like maybe a foot, maybe two. Okay. I just, I don't feel welcome here and I just want to see if there's a reason. Am I in your space? Feel free to let me know. No, oh, I'm in their space. What? I said, I'm in their space. Did you, see, did you hear that? Like someone walked, or like something like walked on dirt? Well, that was me. I'm dirt. Yeah, but before you moved, though. No, oh, I'm in there. No, oh, I'm in there. This is before you even turn oh. around. Rope. Rope. There's no rope. What about rope? You see any rope? Oh, I guess it wouldn't be rope, but it's more or less like... There is, like, it looks like probably old power cord or something like that hanging. Okay. Like right here. <clears throat> well, we have to leave soon because it's gonna it's starting to snow. So, if you'd like to say anything or get your uh, message across or let us know you were listening, that would be a great time to give us a sign. trying to be. We're just communicating. Trying to. I knew there was something standing behind me. Feel it. Oh yeah, there's a big orb. Orb? Yep. I just caught that. Good. Have you seen every time I put that back there, it was going on? You know, it's... Guys, it's the middle of winter too here. Like, yeah. down here it's, it's chilly. Are you still here? If you want us to leave now, let us know. In a big way, if possible. That orb that was there, that left. Like I said, you were getting those readings and then... Is that where you are standing right here? Oh, just that, dropped. The orb was there and then it just went away. Like you can, you can wash this back. Well, I mean? Yeah. It was like right behind you and then it like come up to the front and then it like 
Right, like here, and then like slow them up this way. Big dirt, hear it? That footstep again. Big dirt, walking on dirt. Right behind you. Oh. It like went like here, and then like slow them up this way. Big dirt, hear it? It like went like here, and then like slow them up this way. Big dirt, hear it? Are you down here with us? Nobody understands. We'd like to. Could you help us understand? Is it okay to go back upstairs now? Or would you rather talk to us here? What that sounds like. What? It almost sounds like um like the toilet water running. Yeah. And the water's not on here yet. Yeah. Like it trying to fill up. Yeah. All right, we're working. watching. Yeah, I can. I can tell you. I know you're watching. I can tell. I can feel it. We're gonna head back upstairs, and we're gonna. Yeah. We're going to head back upstairs and we're going to We're going to head back upstairs and we're going to We're going to head back upstairs and we're going to start getting ready to uh go so if there's anything you'd like to say now's the time Is there anything you could say to us or let us know? Any noises? Uh, let us know you want to communicate before we go. Let us know you want to communicate before we go. Well, we want to thank you for letting us into your former home. I hope you're not stuck here. Possessed. Oh, here we go. Mm. Mm. Who's possessed? Yes, we hear it. So there is something else here other than him. What are we hearing? We thought it was you. into anything. No. Yeah. All right, well, Susan. Who is Susan? Is she a relative of yours?
I'll tell you what, I'll leave this running while we turn the lights off and say our goodbyes. And if there's anything you want to say, please feel free. Come here. Come where? I'm here. Chris is here. inside. Did you catch that? Yep. It's inside. I don't know if it'll focus on it or not. I don't see him listening. No. What's inside? Is there something here bothering you or keeping you here from leaving? Okay guys, we're going to call this one. Um, I think there's more here that should be looked into. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be back here at this place or not. I'll wait and see what uh, what my daughter and says. Been, uh, she moves in. If, if they need us to come back, we will. But uh, yeah, I think there's more here than meets the eye. We don't think we got the whole story tonight. but. Anyway, once again, we want to thank all of you guys, all of our YouTube family for sticking there with us. Um, we're working on a new house. Hopefully we get this house. This is one house that has just been bugging me ever since we started doing this. So, but anyway, guys, um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Get your on on.